In July August 2022 Pakistan experienced one of the worst floods in the country's history. Heavy monsoon rains affected over 33 million people and rainwater submerged almost one third of the country's land mass. Besides causing a monumental damage to human beings, livestock, agriculture, and critical infrastructure, relentless rains followed by unforgiving floods badly damaged or destroyed over 1140 schools buildings in Rajanpur and Dera Ghazi Khan districts alone jo main school na wa load rakhte hain to jo main kamra jadid nuksan da sakti to jo hai prama kamra na chal pade sakti so to jo na dra machin pade sakti se dra de sardi bhi jana silab hai na bahut sara silab hai asa itna pareshan hai sare sare khya khwab hate gaye sare bal sukoon na sakti hain haliya silab zilla rajanpur te dera ghazi khan de vich jira tabah kun silab hai इनकी वजह तो बस्तियाँ घर बार सैलाब की वजह तो फसलात सकूलात सब का नुकसान थी चुके जी वजह चू सारी ये अपना माडा जी हैपतन स्कूल है ये भी ही तबाह हाल ही शामिल है Whereas the affected communities awaited for life returning to normalcy UNICEF endeavors appeared on the horizon as a ray of hope for school children to resume their education and chase their future dreams UNICEF has been one of the key organizations that have been providing humanitarian assistance in the wake of the floods that affected most of Pakistan. UNICEF's response has been mainly in supporting the government to effectively ensure continuity of learning for all school children. We have provided high-performing winterized tents. So far, over 10,000 children are learning from these temporary centers as the leading humanitarian agency for children in emergencies unicef punjab chalked out flood response and restoration plan for the districts of rajanpur and dera ghazi khan in collaboration with the local government education authorities based on its decades of extensive experience unicef set up first of its kind and purpose built high performance tents in completely damaged school for early resumption of children's educational activities school bags notebooks stationery items school in a box and recreational kits were immediately provided to 17000 children which included 6500 girls and 10700 boys in the affected districts School closure made the students cut off from studies which badly affected their learning outcomes. However, UNICEF's catch-up program has greatly helped children in their readiness for school and overcome educational losses. Well, now I am very happy my school is getting in and thank you UNICEF and their partners for this high performance tent. ਜਿਹੜੇ ਸਕੂਲ ਦੇ ਸਾਇਨ ਨਾਲ ਮੈਂ ਪੜ੍ਹ ਸਕੂੰ ਤਾਂ ਜੋ ਸਰਦੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਬਚੇ ਸਕੂੰ ਮੈਂ ਯੂਨੀਸੇ ਵਾਲਾ ਮਜ਼ਾ ਹੀ ਮਦਦ ਦੇਖ ਸਕਾਂ ਤਾਂ ਜੋ ਨਾ ਆਹ ਮਰ ਕਾਪੀ ਦਾ ਸਕਾਂ ਪੈਨਸਲ ਦਾ ਸਕਾਂ ਚੀਜ਼ ਦਾ ਸਕਾਂ ਹਮਾਰੇ ਹੌਸਲੇ ਆਜ ਵੀ ਬੁਲੰਦ ਹੈ ਹਮ ਆਪਣੇ ਬੱਚੋਂ ਕੋ ਪੜ੍ਹਾ ਰਹੇ ਹਾਂ ਇੱਕ ਅੱਛੇ ਇੱਕ ਅੱਛਾ ਮਾਹੌਲ ਮੁਇਸਰ ਹੈ ਬੱਚੋਂ ਕੋ ਹਮ ਸ਼ੁਕਰਗੁਜ਼ਾਰ ਹੈ ਯੂਨੀਸੇਫ ਕਾ ਸਾਂਝ ਪਰੀਤ ਕਾ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਨੇ ਇੱਕ ਅੱਛਾ ਹਮੇ ਕਮ ਵਕਤ ਮੇ ਇੱਕ ਅੱਛਾ ਤਾਲੀਮੀ ਮਾਹੌਲ ਮੁਇਸਰ ਕੀਆ गवर्नमेंट ऑफ पाकिस्तान के कॉल पे यूनिसेफ ने सबसे पहले अपना फ्लैगशिप आया फ्लैगशिप हुआ और उसके साथ उन्होंने वहां से पार्टनरशिप की और गवर्नमेंट ने इक्वल रिसोर्सेज के डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन को ट्रांसपेरेंसी को और जनरल रिसोर्सेज के अच्छे इस्तेमाल को देखते हुए एक इसी इस तरह की एजेंसीज को वेलकम किया और इसमें देखने में ये आ रहा है कि अभी बहुत सारी दाद की जरूरत है लोगों को रिहैबिलिटेट होने की जरूरत है साइकोलॉजिकली भी अपडेट होने की जरूरत है दूसरे एजेंसीज को भी वेलकम किया जाए यूनिसेफ intervened by providing winterized kits that benefited over 18000 children and this included uh, included sweaters warm clothing shoes uh, we have also supported young girls to continue learning by provision of menstrual hygiene management kits uh, unicef has supported civil society organizations and the, the school education department 
ensure community mobilization. Communities need to be mobilized to support their children to continue learning despite the disruption that they have experienced because of the floods. It may take months, if not years, for families to recover from the sheer scale of flood destruction. But, as always, UNICEF is at the forefront of mitigating sufferings and transforming lives of affected millions.